We also just had some breaking news last night. You guys know, obviously, the latest Trump indictment has to do with his handling of those classified documents. One of the key pieces of evidence that we know that investigators were able to obtain was a tape in which he was said to have been basically bragging about, hey, here's some classified documents. See these classified documents? And even go so far as to say, when I was president, I could have declassified these, but I didn't. They're still secret. They're still confidential. CNN was able to get their hands on that actual tape, on that recording. Um, so we are able to listen to it this morning and get a sense of how that all went down. Let's take a listen. These are bad, sick people. That, but, was, that was your coup, you know, against you. That's well, it like, started right at the like beginning. Like when Millie's talking about, oh, you were going to try to do a coup. No, they, they were trying right. to do that before you even were sworn in. That's right, trying yeah, to yeah. overthrow your election. Well, with Millie, uh, let me see that. I'll show you an example. He said that I wanted to attack Iran. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look. This was him. They presented me this. This is off the record, but they presented me this. This was him. This was the Defense Department and him. Wow. We looked at some. This was him. This wasn't done by me. This was him. Okay. All sorts of stuff. It's pages long. Look. <laughs> and let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just found, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential yeah. <laughs> secret. This is secret information. Look, look at this. You're back. And Hillary would print that out all the time, you know. She <laughs> sent it, no, she sent it to yeah. Anthony Weiner, yeah, yeah. the pervert. Um, by the way, isn't that incredible? Yeah. I was just saying, because we were talking about it. And you know, he said, he wanted to attack Iran. And what? And he, he said, you did. Pretty, wow. This was done by the military, given to me. Uh, I think we can probably, right? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to try to Declassify. figure out a, a yeah. See, as president, I could have declassified. Yeah. Uh, no, I can't, you know, but this is yeah, classified. Now, now we have a problem. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's so yeah. cool. I mean, it's so, I'm look, we hear it. And you probably almost didn't believe me, but now you believe me. No, it's, I believe it's you. It's incredible, right? No, they, hey, bring they some, uh, bring some goat in, please. So, I mean... It's classic That Trump. is the most vintage it's Trump. I took me right back. Quintessential yeah. Trump yes. that you can imagine, complete with the, like, Anthony right. Actually, my reference. favorite was bring the uh, Cokes in, please. Yeah. Uh, that, that is actually, I've, I've literally witnessed the Diet Coke button more than a yeah. couple of times. If uh, anybody is interested, that's exactly how they talk to him behind the scenes. They constantly have to be so stroking his ego. So sycophantic. Oh, it's, I mean, that part is humiliating for whoever that's oh. It's just so embarrassing. But, okay, so first of all, it's kind of hilarious because it's classic Trump. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I do find it ironic that he has this line in there where he's like, this totally wins my case, you know? And, of course, he's talking about... He thinks that uh, General Milley had claimed that Trump wanted to go with, to war with Iran. I don't know if that's true or not. I do know that he took some very hawkish and provocative actions with regard to Iran, including pulling out of the nuclear deal, but we'll put that to the side. Um, and what he's showing these individuals in his office purportedly are uh, war plans that the Pentagon has developed for directly attacking Iran. Now, listen, he seems to think that this means that Milley himself was directly in favor of attacking Iran. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. But he also seems to not understand that the Pentagon draws up plans for, like, literally every possibility mm -hmm. and contingency. So, anyway, I'm not saying that the Pentagon isn't hawkish with regard to Iran, but that piece is funny. But, I mean, listen, it's just as devastating to his case as it was reported to be in the media, and that's yes. really the key takeaway. He says, these are classified secret documents. He says, I could have declassified them, but the, I didn't. You hear the papers literally shuffling in the background as, as he shows them around, tells people to take a look at them. So uh, that's what we got. Yeah, and uh, the biggest problem for Trump ultimately is that he admitted that they weren't declassified at the time. And, right. you know, the bigger problem is I've seen a lot of legal analysis around executive privilege, about the supreme power of the president, about the ability to declassify. But Trump has two problems on his side. Number one, whenever he was president, he tweeted that there was a declassification crystal. His Justice Department then argued in a court of law that that did not count, him simply waving his hands and saying, these are declassified. They said that only declassification can happen through a formal review process. So number one, it undercuts his argument. Number two, and this is actually the biggest problem, is that remember, under the terms of the indictment, this is a very simple process crime, as in they said these are classified documents. He can't contest now the classification regime on that based on the U.S. government. It's possible this might go to the Supreme Court, but the Supreme Court is going to heavily rely on existing U.S. government procedure and also under the Trump and the Biden administration. And then finally, in terms of the obstruction, 
given the further tapes and evidence that we've seen here before in terms of what was listed out in the indictment about his ability also in the Fox News interview when he specifically admitted to holding on to some things after they were given over. That actually validates some of the obstruction charges. So Trump's best defense, Crystal, is just political, is uh, I'm being politically persecuted. This is a political prosecution. This is illegitimate and hoping that you can get somebody on that South Florida jury to agree. And let's be real. I mean, that is very much a possibility uh, or maybe a hung jury or a mistrial, something like that. But the issue, the biggest problem is that within the merits of the way that the raw is written, it is a very, very difficult case for him right now. And that tape is exactly why it's so hard. Probably his best chance to avoid these charges was for them to not be filed at all, for him mm-hmm. to sort of bully or convince or exactly. cajole or persuade the Department of Justice to not file these indictments because, listen, based on the evidence that is available in the public sphere, and listen, he's entitled to mount his own defense and we'll hear what they have to say about it. They haven't said much about it thus far, um, but it looks like a pretty open and shut case. So that means that his most rational, logical strategy is the political to hope that he makes it back into the White House and is able to pardon himself. Um, Just quickly before we jump into the the latest with regards to Russia, there were a couple of other developments with regards to to Trump and his potential legal trouble. Uh, As we've been saying, this is probably not the last indictment that he is even going to face. There are continuing investigations both in Fulton County and also Jack Smith continues to investigate uh, what happened on January 6th and fake elector schemes. With regards to that, you had half a dozen secret servants Secret Service agents, I'm reading from NBC News right now, who have testified before the grand jury that will decide whether to indict former President Trump for his alleged role in the January 6, 2021 riot at the Capitol. In addition to that, you also had a number of uh, fake electors who uh, took a deal for immunity in order to testify with regard to that January 6th probe as well. You know, I've seen a lot of experts, I don't have any special knowledge of this, but I have seen a lot of experts who say that charges are very likely coming on this front as well. And you know, that's before we even get into what's going on down in Fulton County, where I think charges are expected too. So that's the lay of the land. Uh, the judge who was in charge of the documents case said the trial is set to start on August 14th. Um, Hard to say what the ultimate timeline will be, how long this will unfold. Certainly the Trump side is going to try to slow things down um, and keep things going as long as possible to try to get to the election before any of this is resolved. But, Sagar, that's what we know this morning. Yeah, that's what we know, and uh, we'll keep everybody updated uh, while this all goes on. But the tape itself is just more evidence of he's got some problems. (laughs) uh, He's got some legal trouble at the very, very least. Hey guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right, we're subscriber funded, we're building something new, we wanna replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.